you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for the day? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long. We already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go. The nugget today is it's not a feeling. It's a knowing. Listen, you're probably feeling happy right now. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Stay happy. But do not put your trust in your happiness. In other words, do not allow your happiness of feelings to justify you manifesting. Why? Because feelings, listen carefully, feelings come and go. You can only rely on a knowing. And what is the knowing? God's knowledge. And what is God's knowledge? Is his word. God's word never changes. Which means what? That's the anchor to hold you firm to knowing that you will indeed manifest. So that whenever anything comes your way of negativity or bad news, you won't be swayed. You'll be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. You will not be moved. You will still bring forth your fruit in its season. Which means what? Your leaves will not wither. The thing is, when you allow your feelings to justify your manifestation, then you're in the territory of being tossed to and fro, having a double mind. Why? Because when you're feeling sad, you're not thinking that you're going to manifest. But when you're happy, oh, I'm going to do it. When you're sad, no, it ain't going to work. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, it's going to work. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, no, it ain't going to work. You're in that space. So you'll be in the space of being double-minded. God told us not to be double-minded. We're to have a sound mind. We are. Now, listen. If you're in a space right now to where you're actually thinking that your feelings are supposed to justify you manifesting, then I can nine times out of 10 guarantee that you go into prayer the same kind of way, which means what? You think that if you're not boohoo crying or you're not emotional while you're praying or meditating, then you're really thinking that God was never in your presence. Which means what? You justify uh, trying to uh, have your feelings to justify God's presence. And that's not it. Now, don't get me wrong. There will be some time when you're in prayer and you're in meditation to where you will cry. And some emotions will be there. Why? Because that's it happens naturally, especially when you have softened your heart and now your heart is open. And so now you get overwhelmed to be grateful unto God, to be thankful unto God, to where you want to praise and worship. And the tears just flow automatically. You're not thinking that. If I cry, then God is in the room. You're just crying. You don't have to guess whether or not God is in the room. You, you really don't. Matter of fact, that's your spirit crying out through you. You do know that, right? I'm talking about when you go into prayer and there's no tears. There is no uh, emotion. But you're still praying. And for some reason, when you finish praying, you feel that's the false of the feelings. You feel that God wasn't in the room. You say, well, I thank God heard me. I thank God heard me. That's the trick of the enemy. I used to be that way. I did. I would think, oh, I didn't shed a tear when I was praying. So I wonder if God heard me. Did God hear me? Was God in the room with me? God never told us to rely on a feeling. On a feeling. He never told us to rely on a feeling. Never told us to rely on a feeling to justify his presence. He just said what? If you abide in me and my word abide in you. He didn't say, if you have some feelings, if you crying and my word abide in you. He didn't say that. He never said that. He never said, oh, walk by feelings and not by sight. He said, walk by faith. What is faith? Faith is the word of God because God said what? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God is saying, use his word. When you're using his word, he's actually in the room. If you're speaking God's word, that's him speaking through you. You don't need a tear. You don't need a feeling to justify God's presence. And you most certainly do not need a feeling to justify manifesting. You don't. You can still be happy, but don't let being happy make you think that's the reason why you're manifesting. It's not. That's not what God said. God said it is through him that things are made possible because of him. Not because of your feelings. Your feelings don't add up to Jack. They really don't. Because they, they they don't have any weight to them. They fly away and toss away. Just like clouds do. They do. They float away. Have you ever met people? They one way one moment and then one way or the next moment. They got mood swings like ain't nobody business. Can you imagine being like that? And you relying on that to bring in a manifestation? It sounds crazy. I know y'all been around some cuckoo for cocoa puffs people who where they 
you ain't happy and smile like, hey, how you doing? And you see them, they got an attitude. You're like, what did I do? Did I say something wrong? Did I do anything wrong? What, what did I do? Did I say what, did I, what, what, what did I do? And it has nothing to do with you. It's just that they toss to and fro with their feelings. It's like if <laughs> if you ask somebody, hey, listen, can you pick me up for work? Because my, my car is in the shop. And they tell you, yeah, I'm going to pick you up for work. And then you work, they come, and then you wait, and they ain't show up. And you call and say, hey, listen, um, I thought you were going to pick me up. They say, oh, yeah, I was feeling kind of bad, so I, I, didn't, I, I didn't feel like doing it. You get what I'm saying now? You, huh? you still want to rely on your feelings to justify your manifestation? Don't do it. Your feelings cannot anchor you. Your feelings cannot pull in your manifestation. They can't. They can add to the experience in the journey, but your feelings cannot pull in your manifestation. The only thing that can pull in your manifestation is the word of God. And that's his knowledge, which is your knowing that you will be anchored to, that will cause you to stand firm, to keep moving forward, to K-N-O-W, know that it, in, it is indeed going to happen for you, okay? I hope you got it. I'm right at six minutes or so. But I thought I should tell you because sometimes, you know, we get in our feelings. Get it? Hint. We get in our feelings. And when you get in your feelings, you end up blocking your blessing. You end up re putting resistance up because you're dealing with feelings instead of dealing with a knowing. Okay? So only deal with the knowing, which is God's word, which is his truth. And you'll manifest, okay? Y'all get it, got it good. I hope so. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, ever, ever have the message smile well, because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.